Hi everyone, Michelle here. I wanted to make a tutorial for cloth Chemex filters as I believe there is a shortage out there and we are sold out at work so if a guest were to ask for them I would let them know that this exists and they can try it at home in the meantime. Uh, for this video, uh, it's the hand sewing tutorial. I do plan on making one with a sewing machine as well as a serger. And I do recommend using a white thread and fabric um, just because I don't know how dyed fabric or thread will affect the flavor of the coffee. But I'm using black here so you can see the outline of the stitches. And I also recommend watching James Hoffman's video about cloth filters. He goes through some considerations if you're going to brew with this daily. And he also goes through how to clean it. And so I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. The first thing that you will need is a cut of fabric that is 16.5 centimeters by 32 centimeters. And then we're going to hem the left, right, and the top by folding the sides by half a centimeter. And then fold it a second time by the same measurement. Then you're going to do this on this side and then at the top. And then you're going to hand stitch it all around with the stitch that you're most comfortable with, and that will be our hem. Now that we have our hems, we're going to fold the fabric in half, and then we're going to sew the two edges here together, uh, 0 0.5 centimeters from the edge here. All right, so we have our stitch here. I've done it back and forth so that when we're brewing the coffee grinds don't go through the filter. And I've also done an overlock stitch for the fraying of the fabric. If you YouTube overlock stitch hand sewing, there's going to be an easy tutorial. And that's our filter. 